views may do not necessarily represent the views of the advertisers, management, staff, or ownership of WCTC. This is the show where Jersey matters. From politics to entertainment, from social issues to lifestyles, from newsmakers to pop culture. If it's Jersey, it's on Jersey Central with Burt Barron. Well, he's very popular. Sportos, motorheads, geeks, bloods, waste toys, dweebies, they all adore him. They think he's a righteous dude. On the new Talk Radio 1450 WCTC, the voice of Central Jersey. 708, it is hour number two of Jersey Central on the new Talk Radio WCTC, the voice of Central Jersey. Good morning to you. It is Burt Barron. Mark Rossman will join us coming up a little later on in this 7 o'clock hour. Our Read All About It segment will preview some of the top stories in this week's Greater Media Newspapers. We're even going to have our contest in this hour, too. How cool is that? We're going to be giving away some movie tickets and also a pair of tickets to the sold-out opening night performance of A Twist of Lemon in Morristown. So we'll give away both prizes coming up. Joining me right now on the Raritan Bay Medical Center Jersey Newsmaker Hotline, a cybersecurity expert. He's also the founder and CEO of Better Qualified, which is based in Eatontown, New Jersey, with some information about a problem involving Android phones. And I happen to use one, so I wanted to get some info on this. So let's welcome back uh, Paul Oster to WCTC Radio. Paul, good morning. It's Bert Barron. Welcome back, my friend. How are you? Hey, Bert. Great to be back on. Good to have you back on. Uh, you're issuing an alert and uh, trying to spread the word about uh, an issue with an Android phone. And now my entire existence is on my Android phone, Paul. So you got my attention with this. What do uh, well, Android users need to be concerned with? Yeah, yours, yours and mine, uh, both. My entire world is on my droid. It's about a, there's 950 million Android phones out there. A little over 80 percent of all smartphones are, are droid operating systems. So what's happened is, you know, they've exposed, you know, a tremendous flaw in the development and, and programming of the phone, and it has to do with messaging, text messaging, MMS messaging. Uh, you know, videos and, and, and links that you get through text messaging. And the problem is that the default mechanism on the phone, uh, it, it's called uh, Stage Fright, and it's the media playback software. So you don't have to click on, the, uh, on an image. You don't have to click on a link. As soon as that stuff is sent to you via text, your phone processes it. And in this case, it's going to be uh, a, a virus or malware that, ultimately will take over the entire operating system of your phone. So this is a real problem for Droid users. Now, there are a couple of quick fixes, and I, I can either go through them now or if you want to talk a little bit more about what's been happening, you know, that's up to you. Uh, give me uh, 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 something I can do today. Is there any quick fix that I could pick up my phone and, and take a look at right now and do, Paul? Absolutely. So if you go into settings, depending upon what you use, the Samsung messaging app or, or the, uh, you know, the uh, uh, messaging that you get with the phone, just go into your settings. You need to find and disable the auto retrieve mechanism for messaging. Auto retrieve is what you want to disable through your text messaging settings. Once you do that, now the phone won't automatically uh, you know, process those messages when they're coming in. But you're still vulnerable. If you click on any video or a link that you don't know where it's come from, mm -hmm. you're really leaving yourself out there to become, you know, a victim here. Yeah, I try not to do that. Anytime I get something from a source that I don't know, and I'm not sure what it is, Paul, I don't, I don't, I don't mess around with it. I, I'd rather just steer clear of it. But do I have to go into the apps and, and go to my particular messaging app to make that change? Because I'm kind of dialing through my phone here as we talk. Yeah. Yeah, if you've, if you've changed your text messaging, uh, you know, service uh, to, to something else than what was standard uh, issue on the phone, okay. then you're going to have to go through that. You open up your text messaging, <clears throat> go into the settings through the text messaging, and, and find auto-retrieve. It's part of the security feature um, on the phones. Okay, I'm going to have to uh, take a look at that. So, so here's, here's yeah. the other thing, Bert. Yeah. So, millions of phones have already been hacked. So if, if you want to figure out whether or not your phone's been hacked, there are some telltale signs. And the, the, the three biggest ones are, are this. Unusual data usage. You know, if you look 
if you, if you go in and you look under app manager and, and battery and data usage, you know, you can see exactly how much data each application uh, is using. So if you tally that up and there's a, a discrepancy between what your, your carrier is saying you're using in data, uh, that is a sign that, because what happens is when they take over the phone, it's almost running two simultaneous systems at one time. The other thing is uh, uh, battery life. If all of a sudden you have a you know uh, uh, dramatically decreased battery life, that's a telltale sign. And you can always check your billing statement too, because uh, what the, the, these hackers are looking to do also is process like premium text messages for businesses through these phones hmm. where you wind up paying for their service. So you, you, you got to be on the lookout for those signs. Interesting stuff. And it's funny you should mention that because a lot of times, you know, I'm constantly tethered with my phone. I like to keep a nice full charge. I'll have nights, Paul. I'll go to bed at 10 o'clock with the phone on 100% charge, and there's barely enough juice left in the battery at 3 o'clock to sound the alarm to wake me up. That doesn't sound yeah. right at all, does it? No, it doesn't. It could have to do, you know, depending upon where you are, if, if you have your location services on, if you have uh, the Bluetooth service that's running. Yeah. So you got to be you know, careful. But something like that, if it's that dramatic, Bert, you might want to take a look at it. Uh, and here's the other thing that listeners can do. Mm -hmm. You know, go into the app store. Don't download apps from anywhere but either the Google Play Store, uh, you know, because if you go outside of that, now you're, again, you're really susceptible. But if you go into the Google Play Store, uh, you can download free apps that have antivirus and malware security. And you're talking about Avast and Norton, uh, Trusco, uh, AVG. These are all well-known security players, and they have free uh, apps that you can download because our phones don't come with a robust uh, security uh, software built in. Our phones are kind of wide open, and that's sure. where these hackers are, are certainly taking advantage of that. Always looking for vulnerabilities. I guess, Paul, as long as there's good guys and bad guys in this world, you got to keep yourself safe, right? Well, the problem is that these bad guys are highly sophisticated. <laughs> you know, they're always two steps ahead of uh, the corporations that are building and programming these things. So you have to do, as a consumer, you have to take some steps yourself. If you don't, you'll be the easy target. And if you think about, you know, the thieves that used to run through the parking lots, you know, just checking car doors. Well, the one that's locked, they don't want to mess around with that. Right. They want to wait and find the one that, you know, you didn't lock it, you left a bunch of stuff in the car. Well, guess what? If you do that, you're going to become a victim. So go ahead Take five minutes out of your day, download one of these free apps. At least you're going to enhance the security features on your phone. It may alert you that there has been uh, you know, a breach on your mobile device, and then you have to take the steps to rectify that. Because people say to me sometimes, well, who cares if they take over my phone? Huh. Well, if you think about the amount of websites and passwords and pins, if you do mobile banking, if, 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 you're, if you have a bookmark to your corporate server, and, and guess what we all do? When, it's, when that little thing comes up and it says, should I save this password? We all click yes. Of course. We don't, we don't have to type <laughs> the course. password again. But if you do that, think about it. If I took over your phone and I go to your banking uh, page, I'm in. I yeah. don't have to remember your username or password. Yeah, now I take over your account and it's real trouble. I mean, my phone, Paul, I do everything from paying for parking downtown to buying cups of coffee. And I'm sure I'm not the only person. So. You got no, to you're not, yourself. You're not yeah. at all. <laughs> right hey, hey, Bert, one other thing that, that I've, uh, I've been mentioning why I've been covering the Android sure. uh, hack for sure yeah. is, you know, we've been hearing about the IRS, uh, you know, fraudulent tax returns. It, it was such a tremendous spike last year. And, again, one of the reasons is technology. So if you're listening, one of the things that you can do, again, proactively, is you have to go on to the IRS's website and set up an online profile even if you're not going to use it. Because if you don't set up your online profile, guess who does? The government. No, the thieves. Oh, the <laughs> bad guys do. Oh, that's the true. The bad guys do. So they take oh. your information that they've already stolen from uh, Target and Chase and Michaels. You know, they already have our data. Wow. So if they want to take Burt Barron stuff and you haven't set up your online profile, they do it for you. Then guess what? They can file your tax returns electronically and – 
you you don't you don't know anything about it. And you you go to file and, and they tell you, Well, you filed early this year, Bert. That's a big <laughs> problem. That's, wow. That's a that's kind of a simple, you know, solution to a very complex problem. But if you go on and, and create your own profile, then when the thieves go to do that, they just skip over you. They go to the next guy who hasn't set up his online profile. Good information, as always, uh, from Paul Oster, who is the CEO of Better Qualified and also a New Jersey-based cybersecurity expert. Uh, Paul, how does someone contact you uh, for some more information about the services you offer? Yeah, all of those tips and everything, you can go to our website, which is betterqualified.com, mm -hmm. or they can give us a call at 888-533-8138. Again, the number is 888-533-8138. Good stuff, my friend. It sounds like I have some security concerns to address on my phone later this morning. I thank you for the information, Paul. Oh, thanks for having me on again, Bert. Anytime, my friend. Take care. All right, Paul Oster, our guest.